We have the, the most down and out people who have absolutely, you know, apparently have, they feel nothing going for themselves. Um, they have, they're homeless, they have no money, their families left them. We respond to that and then we respond to um, doctors, solicitors, accountants, high-end people with a lot of money. There's, it's, there's absolutely nothing to indicate who is going to have a mental illness and who isn't. Something that's come out of our relationship that we've built as a result of PACER is the information sharing and the, the clinicians will then share with us the best way to speak with people. They'll call the PACER unit and the PACER unit will turn up in a, a pretty reasonable time and the clinician will do an assessment in the street and some situations in their home and they spend about half an hour doing an assessment and um, determine whether the person needs to go to the hospital or if they can remain in the home. A majority of the time they'll remain in the home and they'll be given a referral, a referral plan um, for ongoing care. But the benefit of PACER is that the police get relieved a lot earlier. The, clinic, the, the patient gets a really good level of care because they're um, they're seen by the clinician out in the street rather than being dragged into a hospital which is a horrible environment for anybody to be in and, um, and they're given follow-up support.